Alex, thank you. In your continuing coverage, Labor Day weekend is a time when people take to the skies, hit roads, fire up the grill, and jump in the pools. But how did this come about? WMED's Brianna Rittman is here to share the history and growth about the Labor Day movement. Brianna. Yes, Thomas. Now people love a three-day weekend, and they can thank the Central Labor's Union in New York City for hosting the first Labor Day celebration on September 5, 1882. Now, in 1894, that's when former President Grover Cleveland signed the national holiday into law. The purpose is to celebrate the social and economic achievements of American workers. These people range from your teachers, postal workers, correctional officers, the list can go on. And representing electrical workers is IBEW Local 197. Business manager Mike Rake says the growth of unions show it's not always about economics. It's about um, job site conditions, um, whether that's in an office setting, uh, a barista at a coffee shop, or a fast food worker. Everybody wants to be able to go to work, and know what their schedule is going to be like. They want to work, you know, eight hour days, and if they have to work overtime, they want to be compensated for working extra hours. And he says you can support laborers by attending your local Labor Day parade. To see a list of Labor Day parades in Central Illinois, visit our website, ciprow.com. Rebecca.